Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create these tiny, tiny little embellishments. You can put double-sided tape in the back or you can put a paper clip in the back. So it can be a paper clip that you can use, give away, you can use in your planner. So let's get started. So we're just going to die cut the envelopes. Let's make some tiny flowers. I thought it would be cute for you guys to see how I make these tiny little flowers. Um, I use this sponge. I'm going to link it down below. But I thought this works very, very well with the Flourish collection that we're doing. So just use this, this is a baking tool actually, I use it for fondant and this one is a foam that I got from Hobby Lobby and this is the extra thick foam that you can get um, and then I just cut it into smaller pieces. Sorry about my squeaky chair guys because it's a little bit old and then I'm going to get some gold, I'm getting some gold stuff right now. So that we can put it in the centers and this is what i'm talking about and this i got from hobby lobby my favorite is this one sorry about my nails guys so these are my favorite and this is my favorite size this the smallest one i think this is absolutely perfect i wish they sold this in just this and not the entire Thing because as you can see I've used a lot of the gold but not the rest of the stuff I mean this is really worth it once everything normalizes I think it's a great investment so now we are going to I guess I flatten it so I have to redo it I flatten it with a container oh my gosh that's too funny in a non-good way funny so yeah you just it's easy and then once you get a stash of that you can use it anywhere guys these are the most cutest things ever so you just put a dollop of glue gun and then get your Yes, this is not working all of a sudden. Look how cute and super easy and simple that is. I hope you can see it. So, that is super easy to make. Um, you know, when, you, when you're watching TV, you can easily do this. I love this Sure Bonder glue gun. It has tremendously changed how I craft because of the fine tip isn't that cute so this is the bigger center and this is the smaller center I think I prefer the smaller centers but for variety we'll do that um, I have a stash right here using some Maggie Holmes colors so we're gonna be using that as well so I just want to show you how I make these tiny little flowers. It is a staple in my crafting. So every time I craft and I use a new paper collection, I make sure that I have these on standby um, so that it just puts like a finishing touch to everything that I create. I think it's going to be, I think it's my signature look these tiny little flowers okay guys so now that we've cut all the envelopes I've already predetermined which envelope and letter will go together I mean actually it doesn't matter if you have double-sided paper it's better because it looks so much better if it's double-sided let me show you if it's double-sided but it's still gonna get covered so it is okay um, I 
already predetermined where things are gonna go just so you're not super bored at looking at me decorating this I'm gonna I'm probably gonna keep this one um, not in a permanent state just so the recipient that I'm gonna give this to have the freedom to you know put or write something in it so right now we're just gonna decorate it very simply my swap partner Gail cut these for me these miniature um, ephemera from from the flourish collection and so what she did was um, I think she used a machine to print it and cut it and this is super perfect if you have access to a printer like a scan and cut like a brother scan and cut this would be so perfect just imagine being able to cut these tiny little things in no time at all she sent me all of these goodies I just want to show you they are so cute and tiny like otherwise I would not have access to any of these at all and so I'm very 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 grateful about that and so yes this is super cute let's see if we can incorporate a flower i think i'm not gonna put any i originally planned on putting some foam dots but since it's so tiny i think it would be better if i don't put any foam dots i would rather put foam dots in the back so that my recipient will easily be able to use it so you use you saw earlier I was just cutting them down and this is how I would decorate it I would just I would just layer them and then go from there simply because the size of all these are so tiny I didn't want to put any kind of um, foam dots just because I think the I love you would be more appropriate for the back. Let's see if we can add a little bit more on there. I'm trying to find something that's appropriate. Maybe this would be cute. I don't know if a small, small would be good for this so this is so much fun because you know while you're quarantined at home and doing social distancing this is when you can build up your stash in preparation for any kind of swap that you're doing um, I encourage you guys to do some swap with some friends online because you know what it just encourages you to be creative thinking outside of the box and it is so much fun seeing the other person's reaction um, when it comes to your stuff that you sent and it's so much fun receiving because it's like Christmas morning I just recently posted um, a video if you're interested Gail sent me a package that is ridiculously amazing and this is what I'm using right now. The tiny, mini, teeny, tiny ephemera that she sent me is what encouraged me to make this tutorial. Look how tiny this is. And then if you want to send a note to your pen pal, you can put it here in the back. Isn't this so tiny? So I think I'm going to add like an adhesive so that it's ready for the recipient. Um, I think that would be so cute. You can also make these permanent just so they don't move. Let's see. I love using a glue gun because it's super quick. See, you can make that absolutely permanent and it's ready to stick. Um, we're going to be making a couple more and then we're going to ma be making the world's tiniest tassel. I promise you guys. You won't believe, like, I don't know why I'm in the super tiny kick right now. 
but it's very inspiring for me and i absolutely i'm absolutely inspired in spite of all this covid stuff and all the you know all the stress at work i think crafting really really grounds me and having the swaps because i just recently started doing swaps i've been crafting since you know i've been scrapbooking let's say since 2000 and i've never swapped with anybody before but i just started my youtube we started my youtube channel last year and so i'm very excited about that i launched my instagram and so i'm committed how cute guys isn't this the smallest bunny ever don't mind my nails i'm super sorry about that i didn't have time because i had to create a boatload of face shields um because i'm working tomorrow so you gotta do what you gotta do to protect yourself guys don't forget protect yourself stay safe guys um you know, you can be infected even if you're asymptomatic. So just be careful. Stay inside. Craft. Take this time to build up your stash. Why not? You know, while you're watching a boatload of Netflix. How cute. These are the smallest ever. This is the last one and we're going to use... Is this a quail? I'm not sure what kind of bird this is that I'm using. But Gail sent it to me and I thought it was super adorable. I'm not sure. I think it's a quail, but don't quote me on that. Isn't this the smallest embellishment you've ever seen? So I've been super busy today before i filmed this video i finished 15 face masks that i'm gonna give out at work so that we can protect ourselves and i'm trying to teach myself how to make some masks um you know i went to joanne's to see if i can if i can figure it out my mom makes the masks that you know she's selling for five dollars it's so much effort i don't know how she charges five bucks for that but anyways it's coming from washington and i feel like there's so many orders that it's hard for her to keep up so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to help out so anyway so right now guys as you notice i'm cutting this i'm so okay so let's see let me show you you see these extra pieces of scrap paper we're gonna tear that out and we're gonna use we're gonna use that to make some tiny uber tiny tassels see that so if this is gonna be your front you have to put your adhesive I'm using 1 8 I've already tried this before but i figured i want to show you how to do it i have some samples let me see let me find the samples because this is okay let me show you the samples that i created it's so cute guys you won't believe it isn't this the tiniest paper tesla you've ever seen in your life it is so tiny and you barely barely need any paper so i'm just using that part of you know that part of the paper collection so let's say this is gonna be your front so you're gonna put your adhesive this is i think one eighth maybe so whatever tiny piece of paper you have you just cut it And, you know, you can do this in your spare time. Since we're all isolating ourselves and social distancing. Sorry, not social isolation, but social distancing to keep everybody safe. 
we're just gonna craft and build our stash so once this is over we're ready for a swap isn't that isn't that a good idea so now you peel it this is too tiny to use your scissors I have this stretchable cord that I got from Amazon I'm gonna try to link it if it's still there and then I just put it right there it's so small guys so make sure that it is secure because you want this to stay here it cannot unravel I put a tiny little dollop of glue and then you fold it um I wasn't ever patient with any of these but they are so cute when you're finished that it's gonna be so worth it guys I promise they're so cute look how small that is I just rolled it and you can put this as your embellishment isn't this the tiniest I mean who knew that this can turn into this and then I just have this I just have this tiny little ribbon that I put at you know um, what do you call this tape double-sided tape in the back and then I just wrap it to make it all super pretty there And then you can put a jump ring on here. But I just want to say, I think this is the tiniest paper tassel I have ever seen in my entire life. And it's all made from scraps like these that we normally throw anyways. So I thought, I thought that was a good thing to share since we're talking about super mini stuff. Like you can put a put a hole in here and then attach it to that wouldn't that be so sweet I'm sure your recipient would absolutely love it like that so so cute so I hope that helps and inspires you guys to use your scrap stash during this social isolation time I hope you can consider subscribing to my channel please like and subscribe and Put a comment down below if you have any questions for me so the, again this is christian signing off guys stay safe wash your hands and as always have a wonderful crafty day take care guys bye